Hello! In this video, we will explain the process of configuring seven sensors in the Blue Log Data Logger. First, we need to connect the Iridin sensor and the externally connected sensors. Before making the connections, let's get to know our sensors. Our product set consists of the main sensor, which is the Iridin sensor, and the externally connectable sensors, which are ambient temperature sensor, module temperature sensor, wind speed sensor, wind direction sensor, and the relative humidity sensor. Connectors that connect external sensors have different pin numbers. Therefore, there is no chance of making a wrong connection. By following the pin numbers, we connect external sensors one by one to the Iridian sensor box. After the connection of the external sensors is completed, a 3-meter cable is used for communication and power supply of the Iridian sensor. Brown, white, yellow, and green wires at the end of the cable are connected to the power supply and the data logger. The white wire is connected to power supply minus, and the brown wire is connected to power supply plus. Seven sensors work with 12 to 30 volt DC and the recommended voltage value is 24 volt DC. The green and yellow wires are connected to the Modbus RS485 port of the Blue Log Data Logger. Blue Log Data Logger has two Modbus communication ports. After deciding which port to use, connect the green wire to RS485 Data Plus labeled as A on Blue Log Data Logger and the yellow wire to RS485 data minus, labeled as B. In case more than one device is connected to the same port, the device's IDs must be different, while the baud and parity values must be the same. When you want to change the sensor ID, you can change it by using the 7 sensor configuration tool. After the cable connections of the data logger and the sensor is completed, the sensor configuration process must be performed on the data logger interface. First, the power of the data logger is turned on and the data logger Ethernet connection is made. Then, wait for the completion of the loading bar on the data logger screen where the IP address will be displayed. In order to connect to the data logger interface, the computer to be used and the data logger must be connected to the same network. Open an internet browser on the computer and type the IP address of the data logger into the search bar. If the necessary connections are made correctly, the relevant interface will open. After opening the configuration interface page, enter the username and password information and click the Sign In button. Enter the Devices section on the screen that appears, click on the sensors on the left side, and in the Device Selection section, select All Vendors field as 7 Sensor Solutions. Then, select the Series as 3SIS. In the Interface section, the relevant port is selected according to the connected RS485 port. In the Interface settings, the addresses where the scan starts and ends, and the baud rate are written in order to find the sensor by scanning. Then, the search process is started by clicking the Start Scan button. After the scanning process is completed, the sensor will be displayed in the Bus Sensor section at the bottom. For the configuration of the sensor, go to the Cockpit menu above. In the screen that opens, enter the Real-Time Value section and select the sensor and values to be displayed on the monitor screen. When you mark the sensors you want to see on the screen, the system will be configured automatically. In the real-time values section, the values can be monitored instantly. 
If you want to check your historical data, you can click on the chart section and graphically display the data from the sensor on the page that opens. After all settings are made, meteorological data will be displayed on the VCOM monitoring system screen. Thank you for watching.